Hello, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to day 56 of 99 Days of Gratitude, a practice for sisters. Today we'll be contemplating El Hamid. My name is Gina Petanito, and I'm the founding member of the virtu Muslim of Virtual Co writing community and my business, Writing Your Way. Here is a recycled uh, verse, but it's going to have specific meaning for today. And we certainly had given Luqman wisdom and said, be grateful to Allah. And whoever is grateful is grateful for the benefit of himself. But whoever denies Allah's favor, then indeed, Allah is free of need and praiseworthy. And this is from Surah to Luqman, Ayah 12. Today, we're going to call on El Hamid. And here we have the transliteration of the final portion of that verse, Ganil Hamid. And indeed, the name that is being referred to there in that verse is El Hamid, our contemplation for today. El Hamid, as we've said, is often translated as the praiseworthy. As always, I'm going to read a short passage from the most beautiful names of Allah, by Samira Fayyad Hawalda. Allah is the only one who is praiseworthy, for Allah has given us everything we enjoy in this life, even life itself. We should extol Allah's favors and love and exalt Allah. And then a little later, she says, all creation, alive and inanimate, praises Allah and glorifies Allah. And so my dua for today, Ya El Hamid, allow me to join all your creation in praising and extolling you. Now, when we look at this verse, the, the last portion of the verse, we notice that there are two names that are being referenced together, El Ghani and El Hamid. And El Ghanid is the one who is free of need. And so when we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're not doing it for Allah, we're doing it for ourselves. Remember, he is in no need of our praise. My gratitude item for today, I'm thankful for all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me. And what I can do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is say Alhamdulillah 33 times after every prayer, along with SubhanAllah and Allahu Akbar. And this, of course, is a very well-known hadith. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he who recites after every prayer, SubhanAllah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, Allahu Akbar 33 times, and completes the hundred with la ilaha illallah, illallahu wahduhu, wahdahu la sharika lahu, lahu muk, wa lahu hamd, wa huwa ala kulli shay'in kadir, will have all his sins pardoned, even if they may, may be as large as the foam on the surface of the sea. And this is from Sahih Muslim Book 16, Hadith 1419. I found several other hadith about the virtues of saying Alhamdulillah, but I didn't include them here because I couldn't verify their authenticity. They were different views about what they were um, in the materials that I referenced, but at least we know that this one is Sahih. And I'm sure that you can say Alhamdulillah many other times other than right after Salah. Our daily affirmation, Everything that happens to me is for my benefit. Suhaib reported that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Wondrous is the affair of the believer, for there is good for him in every matter. And this is not the case with anyone except the believer. If he is happy, then he thanks Allah, and thus there is good for him. And if he is harmed, then he shows patience and thus there is good for him. And this is from Sahih Muslim, Hadith 2999. 
And many of us say, Alhamdulillah, in any case. And so this is uh, one of the things, one of the hadith that illustrate how important it is for us to say, Alhamdulillah, in any case. Jazakumullah khair for spending this short period of time with me. For Sister Kate Hepburn, finding Sakina, who influenced this practice and encouraged me to keep going. For Sister Samira Fayed Hawalda for writing her beautiful book, which is available in paperback. If you just click on the link below this video. A shout out to the wonderful artists and photographers used in this presentation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. See you on day 57.